Welcome to Traveling While Black. Hey, sorry we're late. I think we're still on late time. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, I'm Anthony. This is my wife, Marley. And welcome to another episode of Traveling While Black. Yes, welcome back, everyone. As a brief reminder, our show is based on our experiences traveling. And we base those experiences off of how good of a tribe it was, how much fun we had, and most importantly, how comfortable do we feel as black people visiting for the first time? So, in accordance with our recent trend of visiting Washington State locations and areas for the first time since moving here, we present to you this episode. Yeah, so for this episode, we took a trip again across the Cascades and to the summer popular destination point of Lake Chelan. And typically, Anthony and I aren't really lake people in regard to fishing and boating, but we were excited to check out Lake Chelan. Yep, in that regard, we were very interested to see if we could still have fun at Lake Chelan. So, to see if that was the case, take a look at this episode. And as always, let us know what you think. Tucked away in the middle of Washington is an area known for its lakes and trails, Lake Chelan. Not only does Lake Chelan have notoriety within the state, but also nationally, being that it is in fact the third deepest lake in the country. Several towns and smaller communities lay along the 15 and a half mile stretch of the lake. For our visit, we will experience lake life within the Chelan and Manson Park. No surprise that this area of the lake is the perfect place to get away and enjoy great outdoor lake activities. Activities like boating and fishing. That being the case, it's no surprise the area has many places to rent boats and other watercrafts, places like shoreline watercraft and boat rental. Lake Chelan also offers plenty of options for non-lake activities like High Trek Chelan, an outdoor adventure park that offers ropes, courses, zip lines, and axe throwing. But since we don't normally do those types of activities, we wanted to see what fun was all about at Lake Chelan for individuals like us. Drive grade. The drive to where we were staying on Lake Chelan was just under three hours. Not as long as some of the last couple places we visited, but the views were just as amazing. Beautiful people, we can't overstate enough just how awesome the views are on drives to this part of the state. Amazing sights to be seen year round, but starting this time of the year, the trek is a lot more doable and all around safer. So forgive us if we repeat ourselves, but if you're driving east through and beyond the Cascades, the drive is well worth it. Same views, shorter than the last couple of drives to this side of the state, so we give a 5 out of 5 for drive grade. Level of fun. This being our first time at Lake Chelan, we wanted to make sure we picked the perfect place to stay where we could experience the lake. And Grandview on the lake was just that. Of course, Grandview on the lake offers deluxe condominiums and suites on a property that includes a spa, pool, and hot tub. But one of the best things to us was our unit's direct access to the lake. Not only can guests enjoy the beautiful views of the lake and mountain views, but also during the high lake water level, guests can even hop into the lake for a swim directly from the property. Something else that stood out to us at our unit at Grandview was a clock on the wall whose numbers had fallen from the spaces they should set to indicate the time, but rather there was a saying across the face, lake time. Lake time, what did it mean? At the time we first arrived, we had no idea. But at the end of the trip, we were sure to find out. For our first activity, we wanted to get out and see more of the lake. And the River Loop Trail and Chelan River Walk Park seemed like a great idea for that. But first, we had the urge to post up in the back patio of our unit to relax for a while and take in more of the lake from there. Eventually, we made it to River Walk Park. Walking the River Loop Trail, we definitely got a good lay of the land in the area. Another cool aspect of the trail are the signs showing the different planets and the main star of our solar system. The signs are part of the Planet Walk, a project sponsored by the Lake Chelan Rotary that attempts to scale the distance from the sun to Pluto to the distance of the trail. On the trail, we've seen almost all of them. But in order to get to Pluto, we had to go to our next destination, Elephant Head Trailhead at Chelan Boot. But first, we had to quell the urge to go back to the unit and post up in the back on our patio to relax for a while and take in the lake. Eventually, we made it to Chelan Boot Trailhead to hike the Elephant Head Trail, which offers a spectacular payoff view. The hike starts off steep, but eventually evens out a bit for a gradual climb. The trail is a bit of a challenge, but it's definitely doable for moderate skill hikers. We were determined to finish the hike and to get to the payoff view. We just took our time and made sure to enjoy the beautiful 
thieves on the way up. And sure enough, we made it to the Elephant Head Lookout. Yes, the hard work was definitely worth getting to experience the spectacular 360 degree view of the valley. See the back sweat mark? Your boy was working out there. Ha! Huh. All in all, the hike is a little over four miles round trip with just 1100 elevation gain. We definitely recommend going in the morning before it gets too hot. After the second hike and experiencing the outdoors, we wanted to check out an activity that was more my usual speed, wine tasting. But once again, we got the urge to go back on our patio at the unit to chill out by the lake and take it all in. Eventually, we made it to Carter's Winery, a winery that actually got started on our side of the state in West Seattle in 2009, before moving to Lake Chelan Wine Valley in 2012. Their tasting room is in a great location as it offers stunning views of the lake and surrounding valley. We sat outside and tasted some of their delicious wines, all made from Washington grapes. We had an amazing time taking in the beautiful views while drinking great tasting wine. We even took a bottle to enjoy while sitting on our unit's patio, relaxing and taking in views of the lake. In regards to the food options around Lake Chelan, there are all types. We checked out some really great restaurants for dinner during our visit. One place was the Bistro at Lake Chelan. The Bistro at Lake Chelan offers a French themed menu, and being in a location that is a house that has served multiple purposes throughout its history allows for an intimate setting that feels homey. And did we mention the food was delicious? The other place was Sorrento's Restaurant located at Chelan Cellars. This place was unbelievable with the setting that matches the beauty of the surrounding views of the Chelan Valley. The food and the wine here was amazing, and like Ant said, the setting made it even better. They even had a singer that would come around and serenade the table. This would be a great option for a date night. Message! Of course, in between those dinners was a lot of chilling and relaxing by the lake. Looking back at our time overall, we noticed that chilling and relaxing by the lake was a big part of our experience. And we loved it. Yes, it was really nice not feeling rushed or the need to worry our whole time being there. There was an abundance of options for things to do, but we could do them whenever and on our time. Yep, we finally understood lake time. And like I said, we loved it. All the while having a lot of fun along the way. We most definitely recommend experience Lake Chelan no matter what activity you're in. So we give a 5 out of 5 for level of fun. Comfortability for black people. Our experience at Lake Chelan was great all around, and comfortability was no different. People we encountered were friendly and welcoming within the establishments, and even on our hike, we were engaged in conversation by strangers. While not a huge amount, we did see a few other black people doing our visit. Still, it didn't matter, as the whole time, we felt really comfortable. And should we really be surprised with nature being a big theme in the Lake Chelan experience? Yes, and you know what we say about nature. We will definitely be coming back to Lake Chelan. It almost felt like a home away from home. If you're not a big lake activity person or outdoor person in general, Lake Chelan is a perfect opportunity to comfortably get introduced. Again, we definitely recommend a visit to Experience Lake Chelan, specifically in Chelan and Manson. So, we give a 5 out of 5 for comfortability for black people. We hope you found this episode to be helpful and entertaining. Be sure to check out our previous episodes. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check us out on all of our social media platforms. Until next time, beautiful people, stay up, stay true, and do you.